Are you having trouble landing a remote job? Well, as somebody who's helped thousands of people land remote jobs like this person, this person, and this person, I know exactly how you feel. Going through the entire job process can be incredibly frustrating, and wouldn't it be nice if you just didn't have to interview? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that because these are going to be five no interview remote jobs for you to make money online. So welcome back to the channel where we turn your work from home dreams into cold, hard cash realities. This is Shane and in today's video, we're gonna be diving into the magical world of no interview remote jobs. That's right, we're talking about gigs where you can skip the sweaty palms, awkward small talk, and that one question that always makes you forget your own name. And we're gonna be exploring opportunities that could revolutionize your career and potentially lead you to to financial freedom. So get ready to discover some game-changing possibilities that might just transform your professional life. Now, before we jump into our list of jobs that'll have you living your best work from home life, let me just hit you with a truth bomb. Truth bomb. These opportunities are real. They're out there and they're waiting for someone just like you to snatch them up. But here's the kicker. You've got to act fast and be ready to put in the work. Remember, making money online isn't about magic internet fairies sprinkling cash into your bank account. It's about finding the right opportunity and giving it your all. So gently hit that like button and let's jump into it right now with number one on the list, which is going to be transcriptionist. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just fancy talk for typing what people say? Well, yes and no. Your task will involve decoding audio messages and turning them into beautiful formatted documents. But here's the deal. Companies like Rev, Transcribe Me, and GoTranscript are always on the lookout for eagle-eared wordsmiths to join their ranks. The best part, no awkward interview where you have to explain why your greatest weakness is caring too much. Just take their online test, show off your typing skills, and boom, you're in. So here's someone asking if transcriptionist jobs are still worth doing, and here's someone giving a brutally realistic answer. They say that sometimes it can suck in the beginning, but when you're more experienced, you can get good clients and better pay. And transcriptionists typically make about $35,000 to $57,000 a year, and transcription isn't just about court hearings and business meetings. You'll be transcribing everything from podcast interviews to reality TV shows. And imagine getting paid to listen to your favorite celebrities spill the tea. It's like being a professional gossip, but with better grammar. So if you've got a good ear, nimble fingers, and a love for turning the spoken word into written gold, transcription might just be your golden ticket to work from home paradise. Now, while transcription is an okay start for some, let's talk about building a long-term remote career. The key, a resume that stands out. And that's why I've created the standout in the digital job market high impact resume templates for remote professionals bundle. And these aren't just templates, they're tailored for remote jobs with tips to showcase your skills effectively. And in the digital world, your resume is your first impression. So make it count. Grab your free copy using the link in the description. It could be your ticket to landing those dream remote interviews. All right, social media mavens, it's time to turn your obsession with likes, shares, and hashtags into cold, hard cash. I'm talking about becoming a social media manager. It's basically like being a digital puppet master, but instead of controlling marionettes, you're gonna be pulling the strings of brand identities across the vast landscape of social media. And companies of all sizes, from startups to big corporations, are always on the lookout for savvy social butterflies to manage their online presence. And platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, and even LinkedIn are great places to find these gigs. And the best part? No awkward interview where you have to explain why you have 17 different Instagram accounts. Just showcase your social media wizardry and you're probably gonna be in. So what does a day in the life of a social media manager look like? Well, my digital socialites, it's a whirlwind of tasks that'll keep you busier than a one-armed paper hanger. You're gonna be creating and scheduling posts, engaging with followers, analyzing metrics and creating reports, running social media campaigns, and staying on top of social media trends. And here's a sneak peek of a social media manager's day. Social Media Manager's Day includes planning and scheduling content, communicating with clients, managing emails and DMs, strategizing posts, and staying up to date with trends, all while maintaining a flexible routine with personal time for fitness and relaxation. Here's another one. This person is a college student thinking about becoming a social media manager while in school, and the person kinda naively thinks that just because they're using social media, they pretty much know how to run it. This person, however, gives them a reality check, saying that it's just like any other job. It's crisis and risk management, it's stakeholder relations, public relations, and a lot of analytics. And it's a tough job to do, but very worthwhile. And for all of that hard work, you can make about forty dollars to $67,000 a year starting out. 
And speaking of social media, let me tell you about Keyshawn. And at 19, fresh out of high school, he was working at Chick-fil-A with no clear career path. And fast forward a year and he's landing a $70,000 job in digital marketing, all without a degree. How? He invested in learning the right skills. And if you're intrigued by the power of digital marketing, which social media management is a type of digital marketing, I've got the course that could change your life too. It goes over all different types of digital marketing, especially the ones that are easier to get into, just to get your foot in the door. And it covers all the essentials and it's a free guide, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below. All right, let's move on to our next no interview job that'll have you feeling like a superhero, but without the need for spandex, the virtual assistant. It's like being a personal assistant, but instead of fetching coffee, you're wrangling inboxes and taming unruly schedules from the comfort of your own home. And companies like Time Etc, Fancy Hands, and Zirtual are always on the lookout for organized multitasking maestros to join their virtual ranks. And guess what? No need to stress about explaining your color-coded sticky note system in an interview. Just showcase your skills and you're good to go. So what does a day in the life of a virtual assistant look like? Well, it's a smorgasbord of tasks that will keep you on your toes. For instance, managing emails and calendars, making travel arrangements, data entry and research, social media management in some cases, and also some customer service. And a typical day for this virtual assistant involves organizing priorities, checking client emails, working on focused tasks such as writing and data entry in the morning, taking breaks to walk their dog, attending meetings, doing creative work in the afternoon, and maintaining flexibility to adapt their schedule based on personal needs and client demands. So here's another one. Despite being new to virtual assistants, Faith successfully gained multiple clients and valuable experience in tasks like social media management, copywriting, and video editing during her first three months in the field. So this is one thing that's great about being a virtual assistant is you're probably going to pick up a bunch of other tasks and it's going to kind of almost be like you're going to a buffet and you get to sample a bunch of different things and then later on down the line maybe you think you know what I really like copywriting for instance and you become a full-time copywriter and virtual assistants make 37 to 58 thousand dollars a year starting out so it's pretty good money now here's where it gets exciting as you build your reputation and specialize in certain areas you could be looking at 50 dollars an hour or more that's right, you could be making serious bank just by being really, really good at organizing other people's lives. But wait, there's a twist. Some virtual assistants specialize in niche areas. Imagine being a virtual assistant for a famous chef, managing their recipe database and scheduling their TV appearances. Or how about being a VA for a travel blogger, researching exotic destinations and managing their Instagram. It's like getting paid to live vicariously through other people's exciting lives. So if you're the type of person who color codes their sock drawer and gets a thrill from crossing items off of a to-do list, virtual assisting might might be your ticket to work from home bliss. Plus, think of all the organizational skills you'll develop. You'll basically be the Marie Kondo of the digital world. All right, so for the next one, get ready to dust off those thinking caps because our next no interview remote job is perfect for all of you brainiacs out there. Online tutoring. It's like being a teacher, but without the need to wrangle a classroom full of hyperactive kids hopped up on fruit snacks. So platforms like VIP Kid, Chegg, and TutorMe are always on the hunt for knowledgeable folks to help students level up their learning game. And the best part, no nerve wracking interview where you have to pretend you remember advanced calculus. Just showcase your expertise and you're in. So what subjects can you tutor online? Well, my scholarly friends, the world is your academic oyster. You can tutor in languages, especially English, math and sciences, test prep, such as the SAT, ACT, and GRE, music and arts, as well as computer science and programming. And that's just the beginning. In many cases, the highest paid tutors are people who tutor something very specific. So just as an example, I got paid over $100 an hour tutoring for this very specific test called the PCAT, which is the Pharmacy College Admissions Test. So that's super niche. It's basically only offered to people who want to become pharmacists. So they're usually in their third or fourth year of their bachelor's degree, and they're taking the test in order to get admitted to pharmacy school. And the test is very likely going to determine whether or not they get into some of the better schools or not. So it's really important they do well on it and they are willing to pay a lot of money to help with that. Now, some other anecdotes, you know, here's an online tutor looking for a better method to do their job. That's dedication. Here's a user who's been privately tutoring online for six years, suggests Zoom lectures with one note to draw on with a pen tablet. So yeah. Uh, lots of people love doing this. Um, it's something you can do part-time, you can do it full-time, you can do it as a freelancer, you can even start your own business. So it's very flexible. And a lot of the time you can do it online, remote, which is great. So you make about thirty-seven to $61,000 a year starting out with this. And you can make much more than that if you specialize. Now here's where it gets juicy. 
If you specialize in high demand subjects or advanced topics, you could be looking at 50 to $100 per hour. That's right, you could be making bank just by explaining why the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. But wait, there's more. Some tutoring platforms offer bonuses for consistent high ratings or for tutoring during peak hours. It's like getting paid extra for being everyone's favorite teacher, minus the apple polishing. And here's a pro tip. Consider creating your own study materials or recorded lessons. Not only will this help your students, but it could also become a passive income stream. Imagine making money while you sleep, all because you explain the plot of Romeo and Juliet in a way that actually makes sense to teenagers. So if you got a passion for learning and the patience to explain things 17 different ways, online tutoring might just be your calling. Plus, think of all the random facts you'll accumulate. You'll be unbeatable at trivia nights. By the way, guys, what are your thoughts on the video so far? Uh, comment down below, because I'm really interested to know. Next on our no interview job bonanza, we've got a gig that's perfect for all of you wordsmiths out there, which is content writing. And it's kind of like being a modern day Shakespeare, but instead of writing about star-crossed lovers, you're gonna be crafting compelling copy about cat food and cryptocurrency, most likely. And platforms like Text Broker, Writer Access, and Constant Content are always on the lookout for skilled scribes to join their word weaving ranks. And the best part? No anxiety-induced interviews where you have to explain why you think the Oxford comma is the hill you're willing to die on. Just submit your writing sample and voila, you're in. So what kind of content might you be writing? Well, my verbose friends, the possibilities are endless. Blog posts and articles, product descriptions, social media content, email newsletters, website copy, landing pages, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And here's a content writer named Luke Morgan. And as a content writer, he commutes to an office, researches various topics, and writes website content and blog articles for diverse clients across different industries throughout the day. And while he commutes to an office, there are many, many jobs that don't require you to commute. Like this one, for instance. This person explains that getting these types of jobs can be challenging, but they're worth it. You just have to focus on acquiring the skills that are in demand. And for all of your hard work, you can make around forty-two dollars to $71,000 a year. And that's according to Glassdoor. However, you can make money with this in many different ways. There's part-time work, full-time work, freelancing work. You can even start your own business. So let's talk about the moolah. Now, as a content writer, you're typically going to be making anywhere from one to 10 cents per word. And that's just when you start out. But here's where it gets exciting. As you build your portfolio and expertise, you could be looking at 10 cents to even $1 per word or more. That's right, you could be making serious bank just by stringing words together in a way that makes people wanna buy things they didn't even know they needed. But wait, there's a plot twist. Some content writing gigs offer bonuses for quick turnaround times or for content that performs exceptionally well. It's like getting paid extra for being the Usain Bolt of the writing world. And here's a pro tip. Consider specializing in a niche topic. Whether it's pet care, finance, or the intricate world of artisanal cheese making, become an expert in a specific field that can help you command higher rates. Plus, you'll become the go-to person for all things related to your niche. Imagine being known as the cheese whiz of the content writing world. So if you've got a way with words and the ability to make even the most mundane topics sound fascinating, content writing might just be your ticket to work from home paradise. Plus, think of all the random knowledge you'll accumulate you'll be the most interesting person at any dinner party. Now, if you're okay with doing interviews, but you still wanna get a job where you can get one very easily, I did make a video on remote jobs that are almost always hiring, and you can check that out by clicking right here.